Good morning, commissioners. Thank everyone for attending this very special meeting of, of uh, the Board of Fire Commissioners special meeting, 9 a.m. Miss um, Gomez, would you do the roll call? What's Gray? Here. Babcock? Here. Hara? Here. Ibarra? Here. Ninberg? Here. Fire Chief Terrazas? Or who's standing in for him? Um, I think he's Chief here. I'm here. Looking. Got it. Thank you, Chief. And Deputy City Attorney Linda Nguyen? Yeah. You have a quorum? Okay. Good morning. And uh, again, thanks. Er thank everyone for attending a special meeting. I hope that everyone had a very good Thanksgiving and that um, and happy Hanukkah to anyone who's li on the phone, who's listening, who celebrates. Um, so uh, 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 we're at item number one, which is public comment on agenda item two. Are there any people to speak on the item? Yes, ma'am, if I may read uh, the blurb, that's basically only for this meeting. Okay, yes, go ahead. Thank you so much. Persons may listen to this meeting live by dialing any of the telephone numbers listed on the cover of the agenda for this meeting. Should you dial one of these numbers, you will be able to listen to the meeting, but will not be able to give public comment during the meeting. For this meeting, the board will only hear public comment on item number two on the agenda. The board will not hear general public comment at this meeting. Anyone wishing to address the Board of Fire Commissioners on item two on the agenda should call 1-669-900-9128. When you are asked for the meeting ID, please enter 8145-753-3935, followed by the pound sign. Then listen, pardon me, then press the pound sign again to continue. You will then be joined into the meeting. To alert the board that you want to give public comment, press star nine. You will be called on by board staff who may refer to you by using the last three not four as in all others, but three digits of the lap of the number you are calling from. When unmuted by staff, press star six and please state your name. As a general reminder, public comment will be limited to one minute per speaker for item two. Time cannot be ceded to another speaker and an individual may speak only once during the public comment period. Only those who are in the queue when the president begins the public comment section of the agenda will be allowed to speak. These instructions may also be found on the front page of the meeting agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now are there people for comments, public comments? I do have um, one number, but their hand is not raised. So a number ending in 649, if you are looking to comment on agenda item number two, please raise your hand and I can unmute you. Their hand is not raised, and that's the only number that I show. Okay, very good. Um, as we continue to live through the COVID-19 period, COVID continues to wreak havoc on everybody. And this is just another example of that this morning. Um, we're on item two, uh, the termination on the governmental code section uh, 54953. Um, with my glasses, I need to, to see that uh, E G E three A. I can't see it with the glasses or without. Okay. <clears throat> is there a discussion or, or is there a motion? Or is there a motion and discussion following? This is um, Deputy City Attorney Linda Wynn. Um, I can answer any questions about this item as well. Um, just as a general reminder, um, in order for the commission to continue to meet virtually under the relaxed rules of the Brown Act, there needs to be a finding every 30 days. Um, we're having this meeting today because the last finding was 
done at the November 2nd meeting. And um, if we were to have waited to the upcoming meeting on December 7th, it would be um, beyond that 30 day limit. So that's one of the reasons that is the reason why we're having it today. And if we don't make the finding today, then we, if the commission does not make this finding um, to continue to have um, virtual meetings, um, then um, it won't be able to have virtual meetings in the future without complying with the more stringent requirements of the Brown Act. My question is, is the vote today for the month of December? No, the vote today is going forward. So if we don't vote, to, um, if the commission does not make the finding today, then starting with the meeting on the 7th, it will need to be either, it will need to be an in-person meeting or under the very, um, the more strict rules of um, teleconference meetings of the Brown Act. So then the actions we take today is would affect the December meeting? Yes, yes. Okay. It, I'm sorry, I, uh, I think I just misunderstood your question. It, <laughs> it would be good for December 2nd today and the 30 days out. Mm -hmm. Correct. What are the more strict rules of the Brown Act for a teleconference meeting? Yeah. Well, for example, every location from which a commissioner teleconference is in needs to be made accessible to the public. So if you're teleconferencing okay. in from your home, that needs to be made available to the public. And that's one of the reasons why they, I don't know mm -hmm. any other public agency under the Brown Act that's had virtual meetings outside of like these pandemic meetings. Okay. Because of those rules. Got it. And also, isn't there something about you have to have three people in one place? The no, you a have minimum. To, the commissioners need to be a quorum, need to participate from within the boundaries of the agency's jurisdiction. So within the boundaries of the city of Los Angeles. But not three people in one place. No. Somehow I read something. Okay. Okay, are there any other questions or concerns for the city attorney? Is there a motion regarding item two? Make, oh, I make a motion to move forward with the virtual meetings in item two. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any further discussion? Okay, Ms. Uh, Gomez, would you do a roll call, please? That's great. Aye. Babcock? Yes. Hara? Aye. Ibarra? Uh, yes. Ninberg? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. Thank you, commissioners. Um, that uh, is the only item on the agenda. So is there a motion to adjourn? And we'll all see you on next Tuesday, the 7th. Make a motion. And the oh, sorry. Okay, second. I'll second. Thank you. And Ms. Gomez, would you do a roll call, please? Ms. Grace. Aye. Babcock. Yes. Hara. Aye. Ibarra. Yes. Ninberg. Yes. Motion carries. Okay, very good. Thank you.